moment and shield coefficients that are common for frame problems. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is De La Cruz Engineering video tutorial. Okay? And in this video, we will discuss or interpret the code about the alternat alternative kind of, from the structural analysis which is um, simplified moment coefficients and shield coefficients and that are very very common for our CE licensure examination okay so let's start so this is the code okay ito yung binigay sa code na moment coefficients and this is the shield coefficient and this is the general requirement in order to use this okay so I will give this to you na lang okay what we what will I do is to interpret this conditions okay so this is the approximate approximate moments for non pre stress continuous beams and one way slabs okay let's consider this okay let's consider a two span and three spans okay so let's um, interpret this step by step okay from positive up to this point okay let's consider the positive moment first okay the positive then let's go here that is end span so where are the end spans sa ating beam or sa ating frame na yan so this is the end span for this two span okay wala siyang interior so this naman that is the end span niya and this is the interior span okay i hope this is clear so this for conditions con this continuous and integral with support so this is the end and we have support here okay so the moment now the this is the positive moment is given by WLN squared over 14 okay if we are to draw the moment diagram here take note that is fully fixed okay and uh, this will be the moment diagram here this is the negative moment here and also this and this is the positive moment so sinabi niya for end span where this continuous and integral with support so the moment now the positive moment jan is ayun to yung coefficient niya divided by 14 and we are to use ln1 because we are at this span 1 and the same dito okay ln2 because we are in span 2 now let's go down this continuous and unrestrained so ano yung unrestrained meaning dyan that is the pin support or a roller support so um, any support that is the beam will be freely to rotate okay so the best example jan is ito okay look at this uh, by the way this is the also the moment diagram here okay and this wln squared over 14 is also here okay for end span lang okay and dito rin end span so this is interior span so hindi ito kasali dito okay so again let's go down to this continuous and integral with support so let's assume okay the best example jan is a lalagyan natin yan ng wall jan okay diba? ayan lalagyan natin ng wall so um, parang nakapatong lang yung beam natin dito sa wall beam or slab okay parang nakapatong if nakapatong lang yan that is freely to rotate hindi siya naka fully restrained dito Okay, so the moment diagram here, if that is a pin support, that will be zero dito. Okay, so zero dyan. And ito yung sinasabi, discontinuous and unrestrained. So the positive moment daw dito is ayun. That will be WLN squared over 11. Okay, so dito, interior spans and the condition is all. So wala siyang kan, limitation. No? So the interior span dito, wala tayong interior span sa two span frame lang okay so, uh, uh, while dito my interior span tayo that is to wln squared over 16 so ln2 because we are in the span 2 okay so let's go down to the negative moments okay negative moments so before that um let's go ano um let's focus on this statement mo na okay to calculate negative moments ln shall be the average of the adjacent clear span okay so this is applicable only for negative moments if we have a negative moment if we are to compute the negative moment dapat yung ln na gagamitin natin is the average ng adjacent span okay i hope this is clear so okay let's look at this interior phase of first 
type of exterior support. So, where are the exterior support dito? Exterior meaning sa labas. So, this is the exterior support here. And of course, ito rin. That is exterior support. And this also. And also this. Okay? So, interior face. So, meaning yung face ng support na nasa loob. So, ito yun. This is the interior face na dito. Dito rin. This is the interior face. And this is the interior face. So, my condition. Members belt integrally with supporting spandrel B. Okay? So, the moment na negative moment daw, pag yung supporting, um, uh, the members built integrally with supporting spandrel beam. So, I have this example here. Okay? So, the negative moment dyan is ito. WLN squared over 40. Ayun. So, I don't put, I, I didn't put I, ano, beam dito. Dito lang sa 3 span. Okay? If, in case, may beam dyan, a spandrel beam, oh, ganito rin yung moment niya. Negative moment. Okay? So, let's go down. Members built integrally with supporting column. Again, nasa exterior support pa tayo, ha? So, ito daw yung moment niya. So, this is a exterior column. So, ito yung moment niya dyan. Over 16. This, so, this is obvious na it will freely to rotate. So, wala siyang moment dyan. Okay? Dito lang yun. Yan. This is fixed. And that will, and that is a column also. Ayun. Let's go down na. So, exterior face of first interior support. Okay. Let me highlight this. Okay. First interior support. So, this is very critical kasi sa problems. Lalong-lalo sa board exam. Kasi yung examiner natin sa, sa structural engineering is napaka-tricky yung mga choices niya. Okay. Kung ano yung uh, ilalagay niya yung possible na iniisip natin. Okay, parang pinaglalaroan tayo. Uh, hindi naman pinaglalaroan, parang sinasaiko niya tayo. Ano yung possible na gagawin natin? Okay? So first interior support. So in two spans, the first interior support is ito lang. Wala namang ibang support diyan. Okay? Where in the three spans, these are both interior support. First interior support. Okay, that is first because we are to refer from the outside. So, this is the exterior support. That will be the first ex first interior support. If we are re um, referring from this right exterior support, that will be the first interior support. Okay? I hope that is very clear. Yun. If we have another support here, so that is not the first interior support na. Okay? So, ayun. So, sinabi dito, first interior support but exterior face. Okay? So, if this is the first interior support, ano yung exterior face niya? So, the face that Im that is facing outside. So, this is the face that is facing outside, papunta doon. And also, in this, if we are to look at the right side, dit ito rin. That is a, um, gan, ano yun? That is the exterior face trend, facing outside. So, in two spans, the face of the columns of the first Ex interior support is exterior lahat yan. Okay? Exterior yung faces niya. While in this case, the exterior face is ito lang. Dito. Okay? Papun looking to the outside. Well, dito naman, this is the exterior face. Lo looking to the outside rin. So, sa kabilang banda ng muka ng column, that is the interior face. Okay? Therefore, the exterior face for two spans, ito. The negative moment is ito daw. Ayun. So, in this case, WLN, that will be the average LN. Okay? So, by the way, the LN dito is the clear span, ha? From face to face of the support. Okay? So, average of the adjacent span. So, the average of LN1 and LN2 yung gagamitin dito. Okay? So, dito, that will be the same. Ayan. Okay? So, for more than two spans, so we have this. So, ito yun. Itong dalawa. So, the moment here is just ito. Over 10. So, average pa rin. Average ang LN1 and LN2. Dito naman, yung average niya is from LN2 and LN3. Okay? So, here, face of other supports. So, ano yung hindi pa natin nalagyan ng um, identification dyan? Ito na lang. Okay? Other supports, meaning ito na lang yung natira. So, meaning the negative moment here is ito. 
yun over 11 and this average here uh, average ln must be ln1 and ln2 adjacent span dito naman ln2 and ln3 okay so ito lang yun ito lang yung mga pinaka basic na dapat nyong malaman sa uh, moment coefficients and shear coefficient okay now in this last statement here so this is very rare na uh, magagamit natin okay so i-leave ko na lang ito next the shear naman let's open the shear so ito lang yun the exterior face of first interior support so this is the ex interior support so ito yun the shear daw dito is 1.15 ln1 over 2 dito naman ln2 over 2 okay so in this case this is the interior face and exterior uh, interior support and exterior face Ayan. and face of other supports so this is the other support okay ito ito and ito yun silang lahat over 2 lang siya okay for shear so ang tatandaan niyo lang sa shear and the first interior support is ito yung is double what my coefficient na 1.15 okay ito lang yung sa shear so ang iba is wln over 2 lang okay so let's consider an example muna okay that is ln2 the same let's consider an example okay we have the dimensions we have the figure we have the loads unit weight of concrete and use the code provision NECP determine the critical factor moment and we are to focus on beam D E F maximum positive moment and the critical shear okay that, that is very clear gagamitin natin yung code so the first step here is to solve the uniformly distributive load talaga the w u okay but here we must check this parent okay the uh, rule of thumb to check if that is two-way distribution or one way okay so by checking the long span over the short span ratio that is 2.2 that is greater than 2.0 so that will be considered as one way distribution okay meaning this beam here will be carrying this load okay this slab half of the slab dito and dito rin okay so that is just basically the spacing lang s which is 2.5 okay because they they have the same spacing dito well if that happens na iba iba yung spacing nya dito so we will take the half of this and the half sa kabila okay so in this case spacing lang siya okay let's compute the total dead load so the total dead load here take note that is including this lab weight and this is in pressure we will multiply that by this spacing or the s in order that to be into kilonewtons per meter okay now sinabi dito including this lab weight well if you are to look at the cross section of the beam ito yun. So, this is the slab. Okay? Slab thickness, which is 100 millimeters. So, ang 4.8 dyan is ito lang. Hindi included itong nasa baba. So, we have to account this um, weight nya dito. Okay? So, the total dead load is just 4.8 times spacing plus the gamma of concrete 24 times this area. Okay? The B that is 0.3 and ito is H minus t okay where h is 400 minus 100 millimeters so in terms of meters tayo and that is 14.16 kilonewtons per meter the live load naman is just the live load times the spacing nya okay that is 7.25 kilonewtons per meter okay so we will compute the factored load with this combination ayun substitute lang the dead load and the live load here and ito yung gagamitin natin w u okay so that is the first step talaga if hindi binigay yung w in terms of load pressure pa okay so next step is to compute na using the code okay uh, what we will do here is direction na natin diba pinakita na natin yung interpretation so if you are to uh, this is the exterior support this is the first interior support is and ito yung load okay and ito yung um in interpret natin kanina okay two spans lang and all are column support from here okay and 
computing the ln so ln1 take note this length here is center to center spacing okay we have to minus the column diba from face to face of the column this is the face here and dito rin so the ln dito ln1 is just 5.5 minus the half of the column dito and half din dito sa kabila or minus column dimension is 0.4 so 5.5 minus 0.4 lang okay and that will be the same sa kabila okay the same length man lang sila okay so number one determine the critical factored moment of beam def so as you see ano yung critical dito from the moment diagram of course ito divided by the nine mas malaki ito compared sa kanila okay so hindi niya sinabing negative moment but if you are to um, interpret this critical dapat yung maximum absolute value okay so for number one part one that is the WLN average dapat over 9 so the average here since the same man yung length nya 5.1 and 5.1 so 5.1 pa rin yung average na okay if this happens na iba yung length nya dito dapat um, i-average yung dalawa okay so that uh, substituting the values we have the W 5 and divided by 9 that is the answer okay that is clear for number two, determine the maximum positive moment. So this is ano, specific na positive moment. So in this case, klarong klaro ito. The same sila ng value. And that is yun. Substitute lang. LN1 or LN2. Pwede rin. The same length man lang. Or in this case, if we have a larger length dito, so gagamitin natin yung larger length. Kasi mas malaki yung makukuha. Okay? Ayun. That is the answer. For number three, determine the critical shear of the beam DEF critical shear critical meaning maximum okay so in this case this is the maximum 1.15 WLN over 2 okay this uh, we don't have a coefficient of 1.15 dito so ito yung mas malaki okay so computing that substitute lang okay so LN1 or LN2 dito okay in that is the answer so if that happens pa rin na may, may mas malaking length dyan either of the two yung mas malaki yung gagamitin mo dito in order for that to be critical or maximum okay so that's it i hope this is very clear so in this is a fundamental sa pan talaga no yung sa ce itong mga problems na ito because ito talaga yung bumabalik balik sa licensure exam natin kahit tingnan nyo pa sa mga reference book okay so i hope this is very very clear and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do subscribe support me and um, like and share this video to your friends and god bless everyone and thank you